The level isn't bad, but as you can see, there are intense price moves near this level. Keep in mind that not every winning trade is good, and not every losing trade is bad. This is a good breakout trade, and a short stop is justified in this situation. Everything's super clear. Hourly chart, five minute chart, daily chart. This is exactly how it should look. Let's go over everything and take a closer look. A solid one day chart, return, and rollback level. It's not the strongest level, but if it were a bit higher, it'd be better. Still, it's okay since the level was confirmed on the five minute chart. See, everything's clear where I placed the stop loss and where I entered. Took the entry a little too high, but we need to aim above the level. A nice hourly chart. See, no deep rollback with the price fluctuations lessening when approaching the level, sometimes referred to as pressing to the level. Great trade, A plus, well done. We need this kind of trade format. All right, what's next, Maxim Urakov? This is fun to watch. Let's see if it's a strategy based trade. Looks good. Check this out, daily chart, hourly chart, five minute chart. Let's start with the daily chart. See, the person nailed the level, look closely, got it? Let's check it out. Right direction. The asset is in the short zone. Keeps going further. I'd go short too, a level from the daily chart. Because of the spread, the trade got closed at the ask bid price. Totally normal trade, really good one. Smooth hourly chart, great daily chart, solid levels, excellent five minute chart, right direction. Because of the spread, the trade got closed at the ask bid price. It's a shame. You should have traded American stocks on the American market, not on Forex. If you had traded American stocks in the US market, you wouldn't have ended up with a loss. It would have been a great deal. You're having doubts, right direction. I would short too, but not in Forex. You have doubts. You entered below the level and have doubts, only because your stop loss got hit. It wasn't your fault. The trade is very good from all angles. No issues with this trade. Tigran Sharafyan, excellent trade, a perfect five minute daily chart, very cool. There's emptiness below, closing at the very low, close to the level, volatility fading, pressing to the level, nice, very good trade, excellent level, five stars, short, clear. I wouldn't set the stop loss there, I'd set it a little lower. You could put it here, behind the base, and you could take six, seven, a great setup for the one day chart, parabolic rounding, excellent level Tigran, great trade, five stars. Very nice, very clear, and very simple. Remember one important thing. Trades should be simple. If you look at a trade and start overthinking it, there's probably no trade there. It should be simple, clear, and easy to understand. Good breakout trade, short stop loss order, justified, really good. The trade went really well, limit order, well done. Nice, simple trade, simple, and most importantly, clear, level. Trader with a nickname, Fluffy Cat. The level isn't bad. But at this level, sawtooth-like movement started. If this happens during the day, you need to adapt, especially if you drew the level from the bar's tail. You have a good mirror level with a reversal point. You don't always need to draw a level where two points meet. I'd set the level a bit higher and you would have hit your take profit. Yes, it's basically fine. Short stop loss order. I'd also place a stop loss behind the bar's tail. There was a question. If the stop loss is short, should the take profit be large? The take profit is the same. When someone asked, if I place a stop loss behind the bar's tail, do I need to reduce the take profit? It's clear that the person didn't study. If the stop loss is smaller, the take stays the same, but the position size increases. So if you have a risk of $100 per trade, you should come from the risk. You increase the position size to fit your risk. If you have a 10 cent stop with a $100 risk, and then you reduce the stop to 5 cents, still equivalent to $100 risk, your position size will double. You'll make double the cash with the same take profit. So Small stop loss orders mean big takes. Great trade. Is there any reason why there was a reversal? No, that's just how the market rolls. Reversals happen whenever they feel like it. That British pound trade rocked. Stop loss was more than enough. Great trade, really nice. Pressing to the level. I posted this trade a few days back on the Telegram channel. Fantastic trade, really good. Timofey Voitko nailed it. Simple, stunning, with price pressing to the level. Awesome. Next up, do you see it? Nah. Daily chart, next, long from the level, stop loss, take profit. We're creeping up to the level with big bars. There's going to be a bounce. Jumped into the trade again, take profit, re-entry. Awesome, smart move, good job, great trade. The first time it got closed by the stop loss, no big pullback. The price momentum didn't kick in. Smart move, gorgeous, well thought out. Perfect entry point, nicely done. This was the second trade, awesome, really good, pure joy, well executed. The idea is solid, and so is the execution. Nicely done. Next up. Marina Boyko, no questions for you. 
We're expecting a level breakout. The trade got stopped out. I had to get back in. Boyko did everything spot on, no doubts. You needed to jump back in. From a daily chart perspective, a superb breakout. Very good. From a 30-minute chart perspective, everything looked great. The trade got stopped out. I had to re-enter. Great trade. Remember, not every profitable trade is a winner, and not every losing trade is a loser. This is crucial to grasp. Sometimes it's okay to lose. Losing can be the right move. Moving on. Five-minute chart, daily chart, trading a level bounce, call options, Martin Ivorinen. Let's check it out. After the gap from the level, totally agree. Nice one. Awesome trade. Great job. Really solid option trade. Almost hit 100%. Sweet. Well done. Good option trade. Well played. The daily chart is showing a killer level. The retest went from long range to short range. Really good decrease in volatility with the price pressing to the level. Awesome deal. Round Jelamanov. A super important thing to note. When an asset hits its highs, especially with crypto, keeping it simple is key. You can shoot for a higher take profit. When the asset enters the long zone, understanding its power reserve is crucial. If you look closely, it's really important. There's some empty space in the asset. We have to weather those. The big players are making moves. Remember, they save up intentionally for a while to then kick things into high gear. The goal isn't just to go for 3 to 1. Where did 3 to 1 even come from? It's for new traders to have some stats and not get stuck in calculations. Every trader should aim for 5 to 1, 7 to 1, 10 to 1, 20 to 1. If you can go for more, go for it. That bar is on another level. This is RMDR. I saw the coin. Nice range. About 5% ATR. Really short stop loss, but in this case, totally justified. The entry point was a tad short, but it's all good. Looks pretty slick on the daily chart, too. Then RMDR took a dip. What's next? No daily chart, but a pretty good hourly chart. But next time, send over your daily chart, and we'll get a clearer picture to be continued.